Final seconds. The whistle. It's done. It's over. That whistle signified more than the end of a soccer game. It meant the beginning of a dark reality. Trinidad has dethroned the United States, knocking them out of the World Cup 2018. Just last month, the U.S. men's national team failed to qualify for the World Cup for the first time in more than 30 years. Have we forgotten? Have we forgotten? This wasn't too long ago. So what are we doing? Nothing. We're doing more of the same. And we're going to have to hope. I hope the U.S. US men's national team doesn't make the next World Cup. I, I hope it doesn't. They're, they're not good enough. What's the point of just making the, the World Cup out of the CONCACAF? What's the point? The goal is to win it, right? So we, we have to change everything we do, and we need to develop a culture of technical players. And since we can't get these um, get the kids playing technical soccer from just learning from the streets because they're not doing that, we need – we need the soccer clubs to make technique the number one priority because we have too many athletes being swallowed up. So the top athletes that play soccer, they get they get swallowed up by by soccer clubs and, and coaches that won't teach technique because they want to win this Saturday. They're, so they're not going to develop the athlete. You know why? Because they are selfish. They all all they care about is what they're going to feel on the weekend. I'll give you an example. I have I I have um, a player on my high school team. Very very good, athletic, great left foot. Needs to work on the technical development. And immediately, I have coaches coming coming up to me. Hey, oh, what, what club does she belong to? Do you think you can help me get her? And and my response is I'm staying out of it. But what I really want to say is no. What are you gonna do? You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna bang the ball up the field. Have her outrun people. Have her be out more athletic. What are you gonna, what are you gonna teach her technically? What are you gonna do that's gonna impact her life for a lifetime? Nothing. If that's not your focus, stop coaching. Let me repeat myself. If your focus is recruiting kids to help you win on the weekend versus develop them to be able to play for a lifetime, get out of coaching. Get out. U.S. soccer is not going after these coaches. They're so focused on the the win. So we got to change the rules or do something. What What is U.S. soccer doing? They didn't give us like, hey, this is what we're going to do differently. They put millions upon millions into U, uh, our national teams and, and facilities and all that. And what did it do? It got us nothing. And countries that put nothing into their their programs are winning. Why? Because you can't beat culture. Example number two. Phoenix College was playing Grand Canyon University this past Saturday. We were better. We ended up tying the game 2-2. And the difference was I have a culture on my team. We know what our identity is. I don't have to say a word because culture will win. I have a bunch of Hispanic kids that can absolutely play. Are they disciplined? No. If they were disciplined, we would have won that game by five. But no, I have the JUCO kids, and they're there for a reason because of lack of discipline. If they get discipline, they would destroy GCU. They would destroy pretty much anyone that came across them. They're that good because they came from the streets. They play soccer all the time. My guys play soccer all the time. Seven days a week, they're playing. They're playing all the time, and they're training. That's just what they do. They're passionate about it. It's not like they're addicted to training like, oh, I'm Rocky, just got to work hard. They just love the game. They play it all the time. I just need to get them disciplined. So what are we doing? What's the change? 
there's many ways to make change. We could easily recruit differently and stop recruiting the, the tactical systems kind of, of coaching and players that stick to a system versus those that can be creative and get out of uh, every situation that's presented because there's no timeouts in soccer, ladies and gentlemen. There isn't. So, I don't know. I'm waiting for you soccer to do something about it. I doubt they'll do something about it because so many, so, so much money is involved that something unique needs to happen. Something different needs to happen. And I'm hopeful that I will be the solve for that. I'm just going to control my community and make significant change where people have to just go, what, what is he doing? What is he doing? So I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, don't forget, people. Don't forget. Please don't forget. Where's the outrage? Outrage is done. You know, we got mad. Ah, and, and then U.S. soccer just kind of hit in a room for a little bit. And then then it kind of went away. Where's the outrage? Why is outrage gone? I saw the outrage. Join me, Twelman and company. What are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. No one's told me yet. So I'm just going to do it on my own. And this is Coach Cameron with this Tuesday morning thoughts. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.